Welcome to my lecture online. Here's an example of case one. Case one where b squared minus 4ac is larger than zero. We've also been given some initial conditions, y at zero is equal to two, and the derivative of y at zero is equal to negative one. And here's our example problem, y double prime minus six y prime plus eight y equals zero. So let's use the characteristic equation to find the two roots. The characteristic equation, Look as follows, r squared minus 6r plus 8 equals 0. And in this case, it looks like we can actually even factor this. Yes, we can. This looks like r minus 4 times r minus 2 is equal to 0, because minus 4 times minus 2 gives us plus 8, and minus 4 minus 2 gives us minus 6. And therefore, root 1 is equal to 4, and root 2 is equal to 2. So we have the two roots, which means the general equation, the general solution to that differential equation, y is a function of time, is equal to, and that would be some constant, c1 times e to the 4t plus c2 times e to the 2t. Now, since we've been given the initial values at zero for the function y and the derivative of the function y prime, we should be able to figure out c1 and c2. So first of all, let's find the first derivative. So y prime of t is equal to, well, that would be e to the 4t times 4, or 4 c1 e to the 4t plus 2 c2 e to the 2t. So now we also have the first derivative. I can now evaluate those two. First, let's evaluate the solution. y, when t is equal to 0, is equal to c1 e to the 0 plus c2 e to the 0. And we know that that's equal to 2. In other words, c1 plus c2 equals to 2. So now we have one of the two equations necessary to find the two constants. We now are going to use the initial condition for the derivative. So y prime when t equals 0 is equal to, over here we have 4c1 times e to the 0 plus 2c2 e to the 0, and that's equal to negative 1. In other words, 4c1 plus 2c2 equals negative 1. I can now use this equation right here to solve this for c2. c2 becomes equal to 2 minus c1, and I can plug that in here. When I do, I get 4c1 plus 2 times 2 minus c1 is equal to minus 1. And this gives us 4c1, well, let's me multiply that. So 4c1 plus 4 minus 2c1 is equal to minus 1. And 4 minus 2, that would be 2c1, is equal to, that goes across, that becomes minus 5, or c1 is equal to minus 5 over 2. So I got my first constant, and now finding my second constant, I plug that in here. c2 is equal to 2 minus a minus 5 over 2. That would be 4 over 2 plus 5 over 2, or c2 is equal to 9 over 2. Now that I have the two constants, I can find the exact solution. So that means that the solution to the original differential equation is equal to c1, which is minus 5 over 2 e to the 4t, and plus c2, which is 9 over 2 e to the 2t. And that would be the exact solution to the original differential equation using those initial conditions. And that's how that's done.